way to unbox your salamander is to use a sharp knife to cut around the perimeter of the bottom about two inches up from the floor. Now that the box is cut around the bottom of the perimeter, we can lift the box. Now that we've unboxed the salamander, let's take a look at some of the parts that are included in the box. The handlebar assembly, the seat with the seat post attached, the third wheel, we have the front wheel with the disc brake assembly on the left side of the bicycle folding pedal for the right side of the bicycle and the front fender with its hardware. To start the assembly of the salamander, let's start with the third wheel. So let's take a closer look. The push button axle is operated with the push button. You need to press the button to release the locking balls. Push the button to insert it into the wheel with the cavity on that side. Even with the dust cap on, the push button can still be operated. Push the button and insert it into the axle receiver on the left side of the salamander. Once in place, be sure it's locked and doesn't pull back out. The next step will install the front fender with the hardware which is a long six millimeter screw with washers and a nut as well as two five millimeter screws for the rear supports of the fender. Let's start with the long six millimeter screw and one washer to hang the fender from its top hanging loop into this top hole here on the front fork. We'll put the bolt through the hanging loop and insert it into the hole of the top on the fork. We'll torque those screws after the front wheel is assembled. The next step will be to install the front wheel with its disc brake assembly. You might need to get an extra set of hands just to support the bike while installing some of these parts. Supports can be taken out so that the fork is down onto the axle firmly and we'll adjust our quick release skewer to tighten the wheel onto the front fork. So let's be sure that that front fender bolt is all the way through and then center the fender to your wheel. Be sure it's right torqued. That's good. Now we'll torque up the bottom hangers, the rear hangers of the fork. That's good. And the other side. That's good. So that's our three wheels in place. Our next step is to install the folding pedal. The folding pedal has a mechanism that you pull to unlock and are able to expose the nut for, for the fastener of the pedal. The fastener will need an 8 millimeter Allen key. Be sure you do this up pretty snug. The next step will be to install the seat post and its seat. Any adjustments to the seat fore and aft as well as tilt can be to the rider's comfort loosening off the screws underneath the seat post. The next step will be to install the handlebar stem into the steering column. We'll remove the padding on the stem and insert the stem into the steering column. Once it's inserted, we we'll use this folding mechanism by pulling up the lock and releasing the handle downwards. We can fold the stem to expose the quill locking nut. We'll just do this up a little bit on the snug side, but not too tight, 
because we need to adjust the handlebars to the front wheel. So we'll lock the folding stem back in position and ensure that the handlebars are perpendicular to the front wheel. Again, you might need some assistance for this from somebody else, but once it's adjusted, we'll fold the handlebars back down and lock up this quill nut. Lock it back up. The next step in assembling your salamander is to have a Phillips screwdriver and a 716 wrench. We're going to be bringing the canopy up into position, but before we do, we'll need to remove the bolts from the rear hinge. With the two bolts removed, we can fold the rear hoop into an upwards position and reinsert the bolt through the upper hinge and into the rear hoop hole. We'll fold the material of our rear canopy back down over the box. If you have any problems in assembling the bicycle, which should take from about 20 minutes to an hour based on your experience, but if you have any questions at all, please feel free to review the video or call us here at the factory.